Around the outside of Max Verstappen, let's go. That's the dive we needed. Welcome back everyone to some more F123 driver career mode heading to Spain today. Marketing department event. Who is my rival? Let's go for Mr. Max Verstappen himself. He is our rival indeed. Now, where did we leave off? Well, last time I believe we won the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, but we're heading to Spain now in charge of the top of the driver standings by 11 points. In the constructors trailing Red Bull by about 57 or exactly 57 points. Teammate Liam Lawson is struggling at the back um, right now, but hopefully he'll make up some lost time. Uh, so yeah, we're heading to Spain. Let's get into it then. If you guys are enjoying this series, of course, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below. I really do appreciate your support. Here we go then with the Spanish Grand Prix qualifying session. Um, we are heading out with a pretty solid understanding of the tracks. I'm feeling good. There's a bit of rain expected towards the end of the qualifying session. So let's see if that'll come in Q1 or if it'll come later in like Q3. But here we are trying to set a good lap time for pole position. All right, first lap. Brings us up to P7. Think I might have to do one more lap. I got a little complacent in some parts. Joe's ruining my lap, man. But there we go, P6. P6. Unfortunately, Joe Guan Yu got in our way for our lap, but P12, I'll take that. Knocked out our Magnus and Joe, Sonoda, Sergeant, and Science. So moving on to the next round. Okay, it's gone wet already in Q2. Verstappen's been on my bum all this time. Mad, pause. But I think we should be good enough. We take pull in this wet conditions. Oh my god, to Max. What are you doing? I was gonna slow down, buddy. Anyway, uh, I think we can stay in for the rest of the session. De Vries beating Max Verstappen in an Aston Martin. Okay, so Charlotte Leclerc got 3,000th of a second faster than me. Wow, that is very, very marginal indeed. Valtteri Bottas, Pocher, Albon, Lawson, and Ocon out. Let's go to the final round. A lot of slip and sliding on this first lap, so I'm gonna go again. I have the fuel for it as well. Back of the grid right now, we're back of the top 10. Need to make up 7 tenths. Yeah, not improving. It's wild. The car is so slippery, yep. Eh. Well, what happens? Let me know you're okay. Pretty much sums it up, man. Pretty much sums it up. So, as expected, just didn't work out. The car was slipping all over the place, so unfortunately I couldn't improve on my time. But to be honest, this is where the car is in the uh, performance chart. Uh, just behind the Red Bull, Aston, not just behind, just behind the Mercedes for sure. But Alpine, McLaren, Aston Martin, and Red Bull are miles ahead. So, I don't know if it's just a performance thing. I think the other teams also brought upgrades to this Grand Prix, so I don't know. But let's head into the race itself. We got some work to do. P9 starting position. So many eventful races here in Barcelona over the years. Do you remember Max Verstappen's first win on debut for Red Bull here in 2016? Two years before, we had the dramatic coming together of Hamilton and Rosberg going towards turn four. There's always a treat in store as we head back to the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya for the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalunya, and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone, the final corner is much faster, and at 2.9 miles and 14 turns, we await the Spanish Grand Prix. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he'll start from pole position, with Charles Leclerc alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Stroll, De Vries, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Russell, Gasly, Sunshine, Hamilton, Ocon, Liam Lawson, Albon, Theo 
Porsche. Bottas, Sainz, Sargent, Sonoda, Joe, and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Here we go then, big day ahead of us. P9 starting position, a lot of ground to cover. Uh, team offers me a soft medium uh, strategy. Mm, don't know if the tires will last. I'll go a little early in the pit stop, 13 laps on the softs and then 20 on the hards. I think it's gonna be the safer bet here, mainly with tire wear being a huge deal. So yeah, let's start like that. Let's see if the softs will work for us. Here we go then, let's start this race, P9. Let's see how good we can launch off this line. Lights out and away we go. Oh, thank you very much, squeezing through. For P4, Stroll having an absolute shocker of a start. Saw a car on the inside with that red arrow. Alright, off we go. With the soft tires, we rarely start on these tires because of tire deck issues. But it's paying off right now. Oh, De Vries doing pretty well. Right behind Verstappen. P4 is a pretty solid spot to be in right now. Oh, lost grip, lost grip. That was horrible sector 3, horrible sector 3 right now. Oh, there's not much downforce in the car. Do I have, da do I have damage? No, I do not. Well, why am I losing so much grip on the last corner there? Don't know. Cut Piastri off a little bit, I apologize. But falling back, this is not good. I gotta catch up to De Vries, man. This is what happens in Season 3. Game is so broken that the AI just zooms off. Ah, Gazzy's getting past with DRS. Let's see if we can stay close to him. Well, I can actually get past him again with the late braking there. Ah, I can't get past him. Yeah, the car's just too slow. Oh, don't squeeze me out there. Ah, where's the grip? Where is the grip? Tires are still good. That was strange. But we've lost so much ground to Verstappen, Leclerc and De Vries ahead. Okay, information on Verstappen. They've got some kind of mechanical problem. Oh, Verstappen has a mechanical problem. But they're seven seconds ahead of me. <laughs> What's the point? In this lap, in this lap, push now. Gap to your teammate behind is 10.8. Oh, hold on. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Oh, safety car. Safety car. Oh, no. Everyone's gonna pit now, aren't they? Shucks. That's a huge L. What happened? Box this lap. Oh my god, wrong one. Our gap to first place is 16.8 seconds. Your pit window is now open. Pit window is open. 21 laps to go. All right, well. Pitting this lap then. Coming we'll box. The lap. We'll box under safety car. Max Verstappen getting super lucky there. I was closing in on him, but I was also possibly getting the undercut if I went into the pits. And then also, all these cars, we maintain position essentially with another pit. They will doing the pit stop. Screw it, I'm gonna abuse the delta here since we can. Okay, 
Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta's negative, which means you're going too fast. Reduce your pace. And we gum. For the hard tires. Let's get it. I got held up a tiny bit by the Mercedes, but that's down. fine. Liam double stack. Let's see. Hopefully Liam gets a good stop. Why is, Mes uh, why is Verstappen... Okay, he's back. Alright, we're in fourth still on the hards. Everyone else on the mediums. But that'll be fine. Oh, there's another car off actually. I just saw another car off. We're down to 18 cars running. So someone else retired. Oh, I just noticed. I heard a engine noise in my left ear and then I look over and it's in the mini map. Seems like an Alpine or a Williams off. Might be a Williams off. All right, safety car is coming in. We just need to time this restart to perfection. The Reese has control. He is in the lead. All right, two Red Bulls and an Austin ahead of us. Here we go. I fumbled it a little bit, but let's see. Okay, they are really trying a move here, the two Red Bulls. Whoa! Around the outside of Max Verstappen, let's go! That's the dive we needed. We might do it here. Ah, the twitch got me there. No DRS. Max Verstappen falling far behind. His issues must be persisting. Oh, there's a move by Leclerc on the race. Or at least an attempt to move. Because he does not get past the race. Good defense. Might be able to bring me closer. Come on. Just zoomed off, man. They just zoomed off. We got Norris and company behind. But yeah, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Seven seconds. Just drive in P3 then. And try to keep these guys behind me. Alright. We got about five laps left. Now watch Ocon gain on me in the next 5 laps for the last lap showdown. This is how broken this game is. This is why I don't like posting this much because it's just getting boring. I've just been driving a lap after lap on my own. Guys ahead of me, further ahead. And the guys behind me about keeping distance or getting slower. And then on the last lap they'll catch. And then use Super ERS and try to overtake me. Here it is then, the last lap showdown. Ocon has suddenly cooked. And the guys ahead are way too far ahead unless they crash out, which they don't in the last lap. Here it comes. Here comes Ocon. You see, this game is so broken. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? It makes this game so unplayable. It gets so boring by Season 3. Because of this broken AI nature, man. Like, you can't even battle for P1. And then you just don't battle at all until the last lap. Doesn't make for great content either since you guys don't get to see anything other than like the start of the race, any red flags, safety fl uh, safety flags, safety cars. Oh for Christ's okay, sake. Alright, whatever. I gotta focus. Well, yeah, that like you guys don't see much of the race at all. 
What is this car doing? Everything was fine. Now all of a sudden this car is weaving all over the place. Sliding about. What the hell? I know tire deck is a thing, but come on. Why was a fine last lap? So broken. But we take P3 for a podium. What a mess. I'll take that. Well done. We're really happy with the podium down here. So well done. Yes. A real team effort then, which has paid off in spades. A great victory here at the Spanish Grand Prix. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they managed their tyres to absolute perfection. A tyre whisperer, in fact. And that is what set them apart. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Well, here we are then at the end, 16 seconds off the pace of the leader Charles Leclerc and De Vries, myself in P3 and then Ocon right behind with Gazi another 2 seconds behind with Hamilton in P6. That is wild. Absolutely, look at the timing here, it's absolutely wild how broken it is. Stroll in P7 with Lawson, Verstappen and Bottas running out the top 10. Magnus and Norris, Sainz, Porsche, Sunoda, Albon, Joe, Piastri, Sargent and Russell round out the finishers with Logan, Sargent and Russell actually failing to finish. So Piastri is the last one to finish. Standings wise, uh, one point ahead of Charles Leclerc. He's caught up rapidly because this car is absolutely horrible and also the AI is broken. And then here we are with 65 point gap to Red Bull because the AI is broken. Really, this game is unplayable at this point. So that's why I'm really not posting a lot of this because of this broken nature. Like it's insane how stupid the AI is. Either when they're behind me, they're super slow or they're ahead of me and then zoom off like they're Lightning McQueen. Uh, if I drop the AI like lower, I think we're going to end up being P1 by 20 seconds. So that's why I'm refraining from doing that because of... I don't want to make videos where I'm always P1 by 30, 20 seconds. You know, I'm not Max Verstappen. I want actual fun here. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed regardless. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe down below. And I will see you guys for a new video tomorrow.